fly high with their thoughts a very good morning to one and all my dear children yet another year and we are unable to have celebration in school but let me tell you one thing it's going to be nonetheless fun that you have every year and you are going to enjoy every bit of this celebration 14th november is observed as children's day a very special day as we pay tribute to our great leader pandit jawahar lal nehru the first prime minister of india pandit nehru was fond of children and wherever he went children flocked around him to express their love and seek his blessings so without further ado let's get started through a short prayer service we shall pray earnestly for all of you our dear children because you are the most precious gifts to every teacher we pray that you abide by god's word and walk on the path that he has planned for you reading from the book of mark let the children come to me people were bringing the little children to him to have him touch them and the disciples rebuked them for this when jesus noticed it he was very angry and said let the children come to me and do not stop them for the kingdom of god belongs to such as these truly i say to you whoever does not receive the kingdom of god like a child will not enter it then he took the children in his arms and laid his hands on them blessed them this is the word of the lord thanks be to god god our loving father may your presence in the lives of our children give them the guidance to be your light of knowledge let us now place our petitions before him let us teach our children to handle failures positively and convince them that failure is a part and parcel of life and that parents should not vent their anger on children your response loving lord hear our prayer some parents force unrealistic expectations and demands on their child it builds anxiety and stress in children so let us pray that parents set realistic expectations on children so that there is a blend of learning and social happiness your response loving lord hear our prayer child abuse is a problem no one really talks about but abuse and neglect is the number one cause of injury to children in the country let us pray that every child should be protected from neglect physical emotional and sexual abuse therefore let every home school and society take a proactive role for the prevention of child abuse and give them love care and moral support our response loving lord hear our prayer During the exhilarating teenage years, teenagers begin to establish their identity and exert independence. During this stage, there is an increased peer pressure. Let us pray that the adults walk the extra mile to maintain honest and close relationships with the teenagers. support them with holistic perspectives and brainstorm them to cope up with peer pressure your response 
loving lord hear our prayer people moves the world more than doctrine by henry miller therefore let us pray that all set good examples and inculcate values in children which is one of the greatest challenges facing the parents school and the society your response loving lord hear our prayer a loving father we thank you for listening to our prayers because we believe what you told us whatever you ask in faith will be given unto you we make this prayer for our children through our loving god life is all about challenges and all you have to do is win over them and live your life the way you wish to there is nothing impossible in this world because hard work is one thing that can make any goal achievable on this occasion of children's day i wish that you always stay as kind as warm and as pure as soul as a child Warm wishes to all my dear students God's blessings upon you For the next 2 weeks of COP26 we will speak about our future deadlines milestones hopes and fears I however am not here to speak about the future I am the future. In 2030, by when we must halve our carbon emissions, I'll be just 24 years old. By 2050, when we will assess whether net zero has been achieved or not, I'll be in my early 40s. And by 2100, hopefully still going strong at 94. The point is that <laughs> The point is that me and my generation will live to see the consequences of our actions today. Yet none of what we discuss today seems practical to me. You are deciding whether or not we will have a chance to live in a habitable world. You are deciding whether or not we are worth fighting for, worth supporting, and worth caring. Many of my generation are angry and frustrated at leaders who have made empty promises and failed to deliver. And we have every reason to be angry, but I have no time for anger. I want to act. I am not just a girl from India. I am a girl from Earth, and I'm proud to be so. I'm also a student, innovator, environmentalist and entrepreneur. But most importantly, I'm an optimist. Today I ask with all due respect that we stop talking and start doing. We the Earthshot Prize winners and finalists need you to back our innovations, projects and solutions, not an economy built on fossil fuels, smoke and pollution. We need to stop thinking about old debates because we need a new vision for a new future. So you need to invest your time, money and effort in us to shape our future. Now, just before we started the Earthshot Prize, we all watched a video in which the former US president John F Kennedy gave his legendary moonshot speech. And here on the COP26 stage today, I would like to update that speech for the Earthshot Prize. We the Earthshot Prize winners and finalists choose to by the end of this decade to protect and restore our nature, clean our air, revive our oceans, build a waste-free world and fix our climate. And we are the proof that the greatest challenge that the history of our earth has ever seen is also the greatest opportunity. We lead the greatest wave of innovation that humanity has ever known, and we choose not to complain 
but to take actions that will make us healthier and wealthier. And we choose to do these things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. And rising to these challenges will shape a new generation, a generation that will build a better world for all of us and generations to come. And on behalf of the Oddshot Prize winners and finalists, I invite you to join us. I invite you to stand with us. And we hope that you will give up the old ways of thinking and the old habits. But let me be clear, when we invite you to join us, we will lead even if you don't. We will act even if you delay. And we'll build the future even if you are still stuck in the past. But please accept my invite, and I assure you, you will not regret it. And finally, just remember, when it comes to climate change, there is no stop button. We can't hit pause or even rewind. We can only move together towards the future. So united we rise, and together, we will definitely succeed. Thank you. Children, now it's the time for entertainment, entertainment, and entertainment. So sit back and get ready to watch this great show where your teachers have transformed into all the celebrities you love and are going to perform only for you. All the charm and joy of this day is just for you. Our greatest pleasure lies in bringing smiles on your faces and creating some moments for you to remember in future. Here comes a wishing song for all our beloved children. Right. 
night for me is sweet. I have a dream. पहली तो खा चुकी हो ना हाँ बोलो बेटा रियल कैशियूज के साथ एली ड्रीम्स चोको कप केक्स होती है मीठी शरारत सॉरी सॉरी नो ब्राइबिंग व्हाट डू यू थिंक 
which subject is the most interesting for the students to learn online math at this point of time i feel it is only pt oh really pt period yes yes we have observed our children they have become very health conscious whatever is taught to them in the pt period they very much dedicatedly follow in all other classes we see them sitting in yoga poses like shirsasana tadasana vrukshasana shavasana literally sleeping 8 am is too early for them but i tell you no child is sitting in sukhasana therefore teachers are in dukhasana one more question ma'am how do the students respond to all this oh many are regular students like angel but you know some international answers connectivity problem ma'am i am in village no wifi and mummy is gone to the market and all such answers and when children are new to say something those pressure cooker whistles give me anxiety attacks Ma'am, do the children participate in the interaction like actual classroom? Ayo, everything is blur. The video quality is very poor. Switch on the camera, switch off the camera, stop eating now. You know there is no recess concept. Mother is feeding, grandmother is feeding. What do you miss about regular school, ma'am? Oh, I miss my chalk walks. my blackboard my children running around the corridors of course my staff room where we have lots of fun children day celebration birthday parties and what not i miss my monitors assisting me in my work now that i have to do everything on my ayo how we miss them Oh, so online teaching sounds quite interesting, ma'am. Do you have some message to give to the children watching the show? Children, teachers are really waiting to see you all in school. We miss you all dearly. Online teaching is an experience to the students as well as the teachers. We can trust and make your parents happy. You are the future of the world. Every child is a miracle and a unique creation of God. Parents, children need your more time than the gifts you buy today. Children, you bloom successfully in the life of God. यहाँ तक साथ आए हैं, यहाँ वक्त भी निकल जाएगा. Wishing you all a very, very happy Children's Day. Stay blessed. I hope you all are having a good time, cause now there's going to be an explosion. presenting before you a fusion dance where your dear teachers are going to perform to the beats of sizzling bollywood numbers now it's a task for you to identify who's who all the best
children today is a day to realize that you all are nation builders fly high and achieve your goals believe in god our creator and imbibe the attribute of humanity empower yourselves with knowledge and positive energy and contribute towards the development of our country you my dear children are the india of tomorrow our future hope we live we learn we grow old but before we perish we can surely pass down our knowledge our skills and our values to you dear children so that you in turn can refine it and pass it down to the next new generation then it repeats repeats and repeats so aim higher and be successful follow every rainbow till you find your dream happy children's day love to all of you thank you